Okay, hey y'all. Welcome back, my pretty, um, blessed, kind, little bit of wretched, but only when things get ugly. Girls, we finna get into a new topic today. Girl talk time, okay? So, it's time to chill with me. It's finna be a movie. Sorry, I was just playing, but I'm about to look over here just a tiny bit because um right here behind the viewpoint down right here because um i got notes this time yes clap to that because i did not have notes last time and it was thrown off my video and to me you know you your biggest critic so i had to make sure i had these all down on point no rambles no nothing so let's get into it y'all um, hold on real quick. I'm about to close this door. How to let people stop controlling you slash stressing you out. Okay, people? Let's go. So, first one to stop people from controlling you slash stressing you out would be to learn to trust in yourself. Meaning, you need to start to believe that you know what's best for you. If you don't ever trust, learn to trust yourself, you will always look for others for their opinion. You need to trust that you know what's best for you physically, mentally, and action-wise. Meaning in any action that you do. Whenever you are sure about a decision, you need to stick with it. Follow your first mind. Because like, especially when it's something that was well thought out, a well thought out decision or plan, you need to follow your first mind. Don't let people stray you. Because think about it. We know ourselves. Or at least I hope we know ourselves. Because if we don't, we got to work on that. Um, It's 2022. We need to practice self-love. We need to practice knowing ourselves. Because the only way to pour into other people is to pour into ourselves first. But that's a whole nother video. And I'm going to talk about that in the future. But anyways, we know our triggers. We know what bothers us. We know what we can stand. We know what affects us both mentally and physically. And it's like, don't let people tell you what you should feel or think or do. Because you got to think about it. Um, Your thoughts, like your actions actually reflect your thoughts. So when what you think in your head is going to show on the outside. So don't put yourself in circumstances where you feeling overwhelmed in the head or you got a lot going on because you in surroundings that's affecting you mentally. So like how I said, don't let nobody tell you how you should think, feel, or do. Emphasis on all of that. Think, feel, or do. Because at the end of the day, you have to realize they are not you, baby girl. They are not you. Nobody can't tell you what to do because they are not you only two people who can know you and the first one is god okay god is the only one who know god know you more than you know yourself god know you front back left right god made the whole universe oh he knows you he created you he knows you your mom and your daddy they ain't great you they birthed you and stuff but he knows you and the second person that should know they so before anybody else should be should be you and that journey of self-love should happen between you and God because God knows you. So when you speak about who you need to talk to and stuff about decisions, baby, it's God. So learn to trust yourself in the love that you have for yourself. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't take other people's opinions completely. That's not the case at all. I just believe that you should limit them and only limit them to the people who you ask for opinion. But this can get tricky, though. I'm sorry, y'all, real quick. Okay, this can get um tricky, though. I had to ruffle up my nose. This can get tricky, though, because you might be thinking, okay, let me ask everybody opinion. Uh, uh, uh. That's where it stopped because of you asking everybody's opinion, 
that can eventually lead you down the wrong world of people pleasing because you gonna start getting all these opinions it's gonna cloud your judgment and then you might even lead to wanting to please everybody and trying to make everybody decision and now you definitely forgot about your own don't fall into that pleasing people route because that's a route that never ends or at least it seems like it and it's something really like slippery to get you up and out of that. So don't go around asking everybody for their opinion. Ask God or a very trusted friend or family member. And that does not mean because, say for example, you trust your mama or you trust your cousin or somebody. You can trust people in different ways. So like say for example, if you somebody who want to be a rapper or a singer, but you know your mama is into doctors, lawyers type of thing. You can't trust to confide in her to tell her about a problem or a decision you have when it comes to your rapping or singing because why? She's not going to understand it. And not only does you need to look for somebody who can relate, you need to also look for somebody who cares about you. Somebody who will care about you like how you care about yourself. Honestly. After you do decide to talk to a trusted uh, friend or family member, please do not forget about your own opinion because this happens way so often too. People go talk to somebody else and then forget about their opinion and then now they're wishing, like how I said, following your first mind. That's the main thing you need to do. But please don't ever, 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 ever forget to consider your own opinion. Like, I cannot stress this enough. This is the whole point of the video. It will save you so much trouble, so much stress, so much all of that. If you would just remember your own opinion, refer, always refer back to what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Really ask yourself that. For real, for real. Like, really ask yourself, what am I thinking? Don't ever, boo-boo. Don't ever, 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 ever. Okay, so we now, since we had covered all of that, I'm about to touch into tip number two on how to stop letting people control slash stress you the F out. Like, we not gonna be stressed. Number two, boo-boo. Numero dos um, is allow people to talk, but also allow yourself some distance, okay? Um, 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 let me look at my notes. Let me look at my notes for y'all so I can keep it professional. I hope it's going good so far. <laughs> let me get some water. While I look at my notes, I'm not about to show y'all because my handwriting, my handwriting is trash. Okay. But anyways, um, meaning what that whole thing meaning, what that mean is while people can talk, you can also give distance. Like me right now. So, <laughs> but for real though, while people can talk, you can also get some distance. This distance will allow you a peace of mind because it can save you from dep depression. Looking right here, it can save you from depression, keep you from mentally mentally draining arguments. That stress are off. And or keep you from y'all know, laying hands on her. Oh, okay. I don't want to say like too dramatic because I'm on YouTube, but it will keep you from laying hands, and we all know. <sighs> but all jokes aside, though, it will keep you from fighting for real, though. So no need to argue back and forth or try to explain yourself to a person who already think they got you figured out. Especially if you said a piece already. Start reminding yourself that this type of person will never be convinced of different. Even if you're doing something that they are telling you, like something that they tell you will be the answer to your problem or something, or it's not even a problem you have and it's just the way you live in your life, they telling you to live a certain way. Even if you live in that way, they will never be convinced by your word. It's just, it's certain type of people out here that's like, they think that they know you, they think that um, they have you and your circumstances figured out, but... Just let them think that because at the end of the day, they are entitled to have whatever belief or assumption that they want about you. But the good thing about it is you don't have to sit there around that negativity at all. Never be scared to demand some a long time. 
you do not have to sit there and tolerate any disrespect. And I put here, right here on notes, just so I can remember too. If you don't want, um, what I say? Sorry, y'all. Uh, oh, people ex extending their opinion beyond what you ask for is disrespect. And I say that because if you don't want it and they still do it, that's disrespect. That's literally the definition of disrespect. Look it up. If I had a whole Google search and it was the best editor in the world, I'll put it in the um, freaking picture on the side right here right now. But I can't because I'm not that good yet. But anyways, back on topic. Um, y'all need to make sure that everybody around y'all, me included, know that your life is literally your own life. I repeat that again. Your life is literally your own life. Your life is literally your own life. It will always be your own life because at the end of the day, you got to um, deal with the choices that you make, whether good or bad. We hope that we don't make bad choices. We pray that we don't make bad choices. I pray the next person around me don't make bad choices. But at the end of the day, sometimes we do. And all we can do is confide or only make better confide in God and only make and try to make better choices than what we have already made so it's like let people know you make sure they understand that your life is your own life mm -hmm. so they either get with it or they can hit the road they can hit the road jack and don't you come back no more no. But anyways for real though they can hit the road and really honestly don't let anybody stress you, girl, because we is here to stay pretty, um, stress-free, glowing, um, in shape, all that, all the benefits from being stress-free. I don't know why I said stress is one, but all the benefits, because we is too pretty for that, you know? So, anyways... Um, I'm looking out my, my thing. Make sure I ain't got nothing else to say. But so please like, comment, and subscribe because I really got to get into the pattern of saying it. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, stay pretty, stay blessed, stay kind. And like how I said before. Um, you know, a little bit of red shit, just in case we won't stuff get ugly. And yeah, like, have a blessed day, y'all. Because it's morning for me, and hopefully y'all have a good day. Like, how I'm gonna pray my way into this day, okay? So, bye, y'all.